good time indeed to head to Masai Mara for that spectacle. Kenyan businesses will benefit from a 200 billion shillings fund by Transform Africa leadership, which also targets five other African nations. The fund will benefit small and medium enterprises in health, finance, agriculture, and the real estate sector in Kenya. Head of the fund, Dr. Roland Robert, says already two startups have received 150 million shillings as commitment funding. I had a sit down with uh, Dr. Roland, and this was our engagement. The business climate in Kenya has been adversely affected by the outbreak of the coronavirus in March this year. In May, the Central Bank of Kenya warned that seven out of ten small businesses in the country were facing imminent collapse due to cash flow problems. Since then, there has been calls for lenders to loosen their restrictions on lending to this class of borrowers. We invest in people, not just the, the products or the ideas. It's not about the business. It's if I give you 100000 I expect your business to, to suffer at some point. The question is, are you going to abandon it and run, or are you willing to work together to figure it out and, keep, and pivot? You may want to do business this way. The market not, might not uh, bear that, and you must pivot. Transform Africa Initiative says there is an urgent need to cushion Kenyan SMEs with business mentorship programs as they deal with the double problem of COVID-19 and constricted access to funding. Head of the initiative, Dr. Roland Robert, says already $2 billion are ready for investment in Kenya, South Africa, Rwanda, Botswana, Malawi, and Zambia. We, as, as one of the investors, uh, myself, uh, vetting the companies and then the additional uh, uh, lenders that we have, uh, we have numerous other lenders. Some are focused more on, diff on uh, different countries, but probably all in all, we have uh, over 12 partners uh, funding these businesses. Mm -hmm. The fund has already signed funding agreement with two Kenyan SMEs, one in health and the other in the agriculture sector. Robert says they are targeting more than 700 businesses in Africa with the fund. The fact that we are dealing with a 30%, it shows the viability of Kenyan enterprises. It also shows the the resourcefulness of the entrepreneurs that we came to because what impressed what was so impressive was how much they had done with so little and that's a value what what others may look down upon it, uh, investors who have been in the trenches know that that is the skill that most people don't have the initiative is further urging kenyan companies to be innovative to remain afloat as the covid 19 pandemic appends business environment globally